so next we'll do the full adder and half adder this is actually not for a simulation uh, just we'll see the verification of half adder full adder only for your understanding uh, we are going to simulate the full adder truth table and we'll verify the very truth table of half adder and full adder so we'll show the diagram of full adder yeah, this is the half adder half adder is a circuit with two inputs a and b and two outputs are sum and carry when inputs are 0 0 sum is 0 carry is 0 when any one input either a or b is equal to 1 we will get sum as 1 carry is equal to 0 when both inputs are 1 sum is 0 carry is equal to 1 expression for sum is a mod sum b that is uh, xr gate output a bar b plus a b bar and uh, output of uh, expression for carry is and operation that is a b so we want one uh, xr gate and one uh, and gate and two digital interacts and two probes to indicate the output so just i'll open the half adder okay this is the circuit diagram so now we have to pick uh, uh, the XR gate and uh, AND gate so go to place component all components all group and all family type XR gate you'll get uh, XR if you type you'll get XOR you have to type XOR 2 input XR gate 3 input 4 input are there so 2 inputs are sufficient so click OK and place here Again, we want AND gate now, so type AND. You type AND, again you will get AND gate, 2 input AND gate, 3 input R gate, AND gate, uh, 3, 4, like that you will get. So click this. Okay. So after that, place two probes. Two probes are placed and digital interact inputs. Digital interact inputs you have to place here. And for this, you can control. Uh, by using a key A so in order to select that A button so here the value no the value key for toggling you have to set A similarly for B uh, you can set uh, toggle key as B okay after that uh, remaining connections you do like this so now I uh, will verify the truth table so just run it you can see when both inputs are 0, output is 0, sum is 0, carry is 0. Now when A is 1, sum becomes 1, carry is 0. Again, if B is 1, sum is 1, carry is 0. If both are 1, 1, sum is 0, carry is 1. Similarly, uh, we can do full adder also. So for full adder, actually it has three inputs A, B and uh, carry and two outputs sum and carry. So the drawback of off adder is we cannot add any previous carry. So for that uh, we can have full adder which has three inputs. It is going to add two inputs along with the previous carry. So the true table for this is when inputs are 0, 0 with previous carry 0, sum is 0, carry is 0. And if two inputs 0, 0 added with previous carry 1, we will get sum is equal to 1, carry is equal to 0. If two bits 0 and 1 are added with previous carry 0, sum is 1, carry 0. If uh, 0, 1 are added with previous carry, we will get 0, 1, 1, it is 2. Nothing but sum is 0, carry is equal to 1. Similarly, 1, 0 is added with uh, previous carry 0, 1, 0. If 1, 0 is added with previous carry 1, we will get uh, sum as 0, carry is 1. 1 1 is added with previous carry 0 will get sum as 0 carry as 1 1 1 is added with previous carry 1 so 3 bit 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 3 is nothing but 1 1 so it is sum 1 carry 1 so expression for sum is a b uh, a mod sum b mod sum c which is xr gate of a 
xr gate with b xr gate with c and carry is given by after simplification you will get ab plus bc plus ca ca is actually input carry of the previous operation and c out is output carry so now we want one xr gate with three inputs three and gates and one r gate so pick the uh, gates so one uh, you have to pick uh, place component all groups all families type xr xor then type uh, xor3 three, three input uh, uh, xr gate and after that two or uh, th uh, three uh, and gates you have to select okay place component all groups all families type uh, in the components type and two so three times you have to place that and after that again you have to search the component as or3 r3 so we'll get that and that place here and two probes you have to search there and place here and three digital interactive uh, just actually uh, first one you name it as a and the key control toggle for that value is you have to select uh, keyboard key a for second inputs you have to select the value of uh, key toggle as b for third digital interact the value of toggle uh, is you have to give as key c now if you run this when you now still half half adder is running so you have to stop this go to full adder then run it you can verify the true table first we'll have uh, a b c all are zero so a b c that is a and b are added with previous carry zero you can see some zero carry zero now we are going to add a 0 b 0 with previous carry c is equal to 1 c in is now i am going to change this one to 1 so we are going to get sum is equal to 1 carry is equal to 0 after that we have 0 1 with carry 0 so we have 0 1 with previous carry 0 so sum is equal to 1 carry is equal to 0 now 0 1 is added with previous carry 1 so we will get sum is equal to 0 carry is equal to 1 sum is equal to 0 carry is equal to 1 after that we have 1 0 0 1 this is 0 this is 0 1 and 0 is added with previous carry 0 so sum 1 carry 0 after that uh, 1 and 0 is added with 1 so sum 0 carry 1 now 1 1 is added with uh, carry 0 so we'll get uh, sum is equal to 0 carry is equal to 1 and last case 1 and 1 are added with previous carry 1 so we are going to get sum also 1 carry also 1 so this is about the verification of true table of full adder this is only to understand uh, the topic uh, with the uh, simulation so if you see the if you do yourself the simulation uh, in the exam i think uh, you will remember the true table uh, easily So next, if you want, you can uh, realize uh, uh, off adder, okay, uh, full adder using two off adders, first off adder, second off adder with the help of uh, carry, we can do, see, uh, first off adder output is carry, this is sum, second off adder output is carry sum, uh, sum of uh, the output of, uh, for the second off adder, one output is the uh, sum of the first and another input c will get the final sum and two sums two carries first adder carry second adder carry both you have to add with additional r gate so i think you can directly pick uh, uh, off adder is available okay so you can place component off adder directly you can type ha Off adder, I think if it is already available, yeah, it is available. So you can click here. Similarly, one more you pick. Okay, the first input uh, digital interactive I'll put interactive uh, digital input I'll place here. So two I want A and B. So two times I want to place and third input c is there not for that also i'll put now only so now 
uh, I want an R gate for uh, carry. So two input R gate you have to take, and two probes I want. So select probe. So I can select either green or red in one color. Click OK. Okay, now I will do the connection. So first one I will connect here. First, first of header A and B are the inputs. Okay, and the output of the first of header is sum. Now sum is connected to the input of second of header. And carry of first of header and second of header. Both you have to add using R gate. Carry of first of header and second of header. You have to add. And for the second of header, another input is another input is this. Now uh, I think this is not required. And final output sum is this. So you can uh, rename this. This one as sum final sum and this as carry p out and now this as you can give as a label as a input and you can control that value of a by toggling the button uh, keyboard button a and another one is b so rename this as B and uh, this is controlled by B. Label you give as another input B. And the third one is actually C in. C I or C in previous carry. And you can uh, I think you can toggle using the, the value C button. Okay now everything is over. Now we will just simulate it. So click uh, run. Now actually it's full ladder is running. So you have to stop it. Now go to new design. Here just run this. Okay now actually uh, when all are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, sum is 0, carry is 0. So I will take uh, this uh, full ladder to table once again. Copy that and you can place here. Stop the simulation and paste it. So we'll verify the true table now. So run it. When A is B, C are 0, 0, 0. Okay, sum 0, carry 0. When uh, C is 1, when C is 1, so sum is 1. When B is 1, again sum is 1. And when uh, A is 1, sum is 1. That means any, any one of the input is 1. A, B, C, if any one input is 1, sum is equal to 1 will come. And for uh, when two inputs are 1 actually, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1. No? A, make any two inputs 1, you will get sum 0, carry 1. This combination or this 1, 1, 0 or this 1, 1, 0 will get sum is equal to 0, carry is equal to 1. When all are 1, 1, 1, 1, sum and carry are 1, 1. So we will get when all are 1, 1, 1, sum is equal to 1, carry is equal to 1. This is the realization of uh, full adder using two of adders. So you can give the label as realization of full adder using two of adders okay so this is again only for not for uh, uh, any internal assessment only for understanding so because in the textbook you people are in first semester so in the textbook they had given this diagram so in order to verify whether it's correct or not so just just rig up the circuit and verify it. So next 
next i think uh, i will explain uh, remaining topics also with the help of simulation so check on my other videos also thank you